Hello, this is another tutorial about mesh editing in Blender. And as I uh, told in previous tutorials, it's very important if you go to design or the edit of meshing, then it's about a certain production line of how doing things. So this is implicit. So you need a systematicity of things, which is a kind of a symbolized um, <clears throat> form of the Sullivan's uh, motto form follows function. So it's a, a certain production, you have to imitate that symbolically and uh, then you create a certain kind of uh, form. So this is uh, what mesh building is about in, in perspective from, from an architect. And this now is one way it's about cutting papers and making nice models by that. And uh, this is very straightforward and gives interesting uh, and fast uh, models. This is how it goes. Okay, we start with a, with a plane. Go into it. Now let's uh, give you the indicators of what I'm doing. Um, uh, scale it in X by 1.5 okay <clears throat> uh, delete the uh, face uh, select all extrude it in that direction by two units so this is our box we want to cut with a skizzer so now we have to subdivide this um, this volume. We need this tool and it's called loop and uh, cut and slide. This is what we what we will choose as a tool. Confirm this cut. Keep an eye that this is zero. So this is the location of this uh, horizontal loop cut. Um, keep that to zero and put it in our case to four units a per 0.5 units so that's it do the same now in vertical confirm and now we have square units here do the same uh, here we get a super studio like environment very simple very straight forward so now we can do our design. Simply cut the window by on the faces. Or we can say, <coughs> let's, uh, let's take just this vertex and delete the vertex with, uh, with the affected edges and faces. So now we have this hole, I think that's better. So the same here, take, make a door x vertices now go here loop cut go for now we want to make another door and here we make another window Okay, that's our cut, our model you can make. I think now you've got the idea how this works and uh, you can work with it. If you want to follow, I now make a proper uh, rendering out of it. Okay, plane. Um, and zero, scale it by. zero, scale it by three, give the plane a material, make it black, look at the material, um, give it 
more metallic and a little roughness. This is uh, the material. This is uh, my paper. Give it roughness of 0 .5, around 0 0.5. We have this. Then put <coughs> the whole story into an industrial environment. So we get uh, image illumination. Uh, go for the node editor. Ask for the world material. Now check word output background and instead of having this color in a certain strength which gives this rendering. We add a texture, so this is an environmental texture. Connect that. Now there's no this magenta indicates as an image missing as a source. Go for our skies, the industrial hall we already had and other tutorials open that. Give it a strength of two. This is our industrial hall. And uh, add a camera, adjust the camera. Transparent. Now we have a, a diffuse and diversified um, uh, lighting, but we don't show the light itself in the background. But uh, this looks interesting as a model. So. This is okay. Go for the rendering. Now we can go for the color management and uh, say we want to have more contrast or get uh, lower contrast. This might be better, but go for more gamma because the rendering is HDR. We can uh, change that afterwards. We even can go here for artificial curves and all light HDR lighting. Okay, keep it like that. Save the image in a format of the buyer. Output is here. You can define the output format, for example, JPEG, to get it <coughs> to a proper format. Save image, uh, desktop, paper, cut in JPEG, save it, go for. Thing. And here we are. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.